Hello and welcome back to the Educator's Lair at the Wiregrass Museum of Art. My name is Amanda Holcomb. I am an educator at the museum and today I will be walking you through how to add bubble prints onto any piece of paper. For this project you will need a few things. You need little cups that can hold liquid. You will need either paint or food coloring. You will need a straw for every person that wishes to add bubbles to their work of art. You need some dish soap, some water. I recommend having some paper towels just to help keep your space clean. And then various pieces of paper. Now this can be colored paper or just plain white paper. Copy paper also works very well. Now to start this, what you want to do so that you want to take a cup, you want to add in your color, and with food coloring, it might take a little bit more, so I'm just going to add a few drops in there. Once I add in the water and the dish soap, I can test it out to make sure that it is a bright color when I add it to the paper. You want to add in some water and just fill it up a little bit. It doesn't take a whole lot um, to make this work. You just need some. And again, you can always remix it if you need to as you're working. Now with the dish soap, just add in a quick little squeeze. Again, you don't need a whole lot in there. Now, with your straw, you can go in and just stir up your mixtures. Now that I have mixed my different colors here, I can go in and start blowing my bubbles. And all you have to do is, especially if you're working with young kids, please remind them to blow into the straw, not suck it in. Nothing here will truly harm you, but it certainly will not taste good. So again, please make sure that you instruct your children to blow instead of suck as they normally do with a straw. Now, what you want to do, put your straw just right in there and you're going to blow and get some bubbles. You're going to take your piece of paper and stamp it down and then you got your print started. Alright, I have created on a pink piece of paper so you can see the bubble art coming through. Here is the first one I did. I went back and I added a little bit more of the metallic colors just to bring it back out. And then here is my sketchbook with a very fun cover. And what's great about this, especially with the rubber band, you can just keep refilling it if you're very attached to your cover. And it is a very easy way to still be able to create while you're at home. Now, if you're starting to wonder what you can do with this paper, you can always cut it up and turn it into a new work of art. You can send a card to a loved one. Maybe they're stuck at home just like you. And so you want to send that you're thinking about them. So you can just fold it and write in there with a marker or whatever you want. You can draw them a picture and put it in there. You can even do the same process on envelopes, anything that you want to be able to send someone some cheer. Thank you so much for joining us today at the Wiregrass Museum of Art for our daily art break found on our social media platforms. We really hope that you'll be able to create. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time.